Alright, Chelsea, I'm going to try and adjust my, what I call paddle pitch, uh, cycling pitch. With the help from a good friend from Run Rider, Aaron. Thanks, Aaron. So, what they say we want to do here, they say we want to use a fly bar lock. Using my homemade one, but it's not good enough. It's only, that's only good for uh, for me for setting my blade pitch. Uh, I need to make something that I can actually rotate my blades around without it moving. But uh, I'm gonna try and use this. So what we want to do is uh, set your blade pitch to zero. So what we what we checking here for is um, Get our blades at zero, and this is going to be uh, the left and right cyclic. So you don't want no more than six degrees, seven degrees of pitch here. So we got this gauge on six degrees of pitch. So we go. I guess that looks pretty good. That's six. So yeah, that's pretty good. I'm at six and six on both sides. Uh, I saw one video where a guy said, "Do you want do you want to use uh, the swash menu?" And uh, I use the endpoint adjustment. I don't know what the difference is, but uh, I'll find out from somebody sooner or later. Now we want to check the uh, forward and back cyclic. <laughs>
check the uh, forward and backward side leak. into my pitch gauge so needs me to put it back center. Seven degrees of pitch here. Anyway, I hope that gives you an idea. I need to adjust my um, forward reverse cyclic a little bit. It looks like I got about nine degrees of pitch in it. Uh, let's see. Anyway, I had to straighten this out. Need to get two degrees of pitch out of my forward backwards. Hope that helped you out, Choki. And thanks, Aaron.